Chatma, Sohol Shafat Shelby. Hi, my name is Shelby, and I'd like to welcome you back to In the Family Farms. Today, we are going to talk about pest control, because no matter what you do, they're gonna get in, and you don't really want harsh chemicals and stuff on what you're gonna eat. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Today, we're at the potatoes. And you see that little bug right there? It's a potato bug. And it, been wreaking havoc. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to squish it because it's not going to get a chance to make it. Same with this one right here. I'm just going to take and I'm just going to squish them. Okay. But sometimes there's just too many of them. And while you want to squish them all, there's some eggs or something you might miss. So that's when I use diatomaceous earth. And I just sprinkle it over the top of the plant there. Go like that so it gets on all the seeds. The only thing is you don't want to do this to a plant that's flowering because you don't want it to get in the flower and you don't want bees to get on it. Other than that, as long as it's not while it's flowering, that is, they put this stuff in toothpaste like that. something you can even food grade actually. So it, it can go in your food and you can eat it, but it also kills the bugs. It's uh, little fossils is what it is. And it, you can read up on what all, how it does it, but it's something I like to use. You're just gonna do that to all of them here pick off what we can see. Pick off the ones we see and sprinkle that on the rest. And that's what I do. Diatomaceous earth is always my um, first go-to on pest control. And then when that doesn't work, sometimes I'll use neem oil on some other things, but a lot of times the diatomaceous earth gets it and I don't have to put anything else on it. And that's how I do it. So if you're growing a garden, you definitely want to have a bag of diatomaceous earth on hand. And I will show you at, uh, I'll show you this right here is what a bag looks like. Okay, so now you kind of got an idea of what you're looking for, and that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys today, and I hope everybody's doing well, and peace of the show till I see you again.